I figured I can share an update. One of my beloved bikes made its farewell not too long ago. I know some folks asked what happened to the Beta 350 Devil R, and although I do not have much to review on this bike, it was one hell of a bike. It wasn't death It wasn't fly It wasn't dead, it wasn't blood, it wasn't cry The day the angels This trail is very rocky, large rocks Camera is definitely not going to do justice, I already know that See, I bought this Beta 350 Double R because I was looking for something a bit more off-road oriented versus the DRZ400 and the KLX250. And at the same day, that is when I also bought my TE250i. Yes, call me crazy, I bought both at the same time. But one of these was going to become my snow bike. I just didn't know which one at the time. Now here is the thing with dirt biking and dual sporting. You are always molding yourself. One day you want this bike, the other day you want another bike, and as you get better and figure out what you want to do, you start shape-shifting into the kind of exploring and trail exploring you want to do. At this point of time, I am itching to buy a truck camper and some kind of overland vehicle, or some kind of overland vehicle, so I can set up tent, ride around that area for, for a few days, then move on to the next. Now you see, the Beta 350RR probably would have been perfect for what I'm looking to do right now. Now, this is not a true four stroke versus two stroke video because I will cut you the time lost and say, I prefer two strokes, but honestly, I might be looking for another Beta pretty soon. I know a lot of people with Betas around here and a lot of them never have any issues and for what I want to do, especially overlanding and explore its road and trails around, I believe a Beta 390 or 350 might be perfect for what I want to do. See, the TE250i is super fun, it's definitely a keeper, not something I'm going to sell, at least not yet, but it's not ideal for long road usage or long road hopping. It is extremely uncomfortable at 70 miles an hour, while a four stroke is definitely more suited for its job, it's definitely a lot more comfortable. Now on with my story. I bought this Beta 350RR from a dealership. Story goes, the owner traded it in and the motor blew two times while he had it. Instantly, I knew I should have backed down, but the price was so good I just could not have backed down. The dealer told me they rebuilt the engine themselves and every part in it was going to be new. I'm not sure what happened, but over 15 hours of riding, that is when the engine ceased. Apparently, the piston was never lubricated, and although there was oil in the engine, somehow the piston was not getting that oil, but perhaps the pump failed or something similar. But before the engine seizure, I should have not ignored the signs. So this might be a little tip for you guys. During its short life, the beta kept turning off. Sometimes it was a little hard to start unless I gave it a little gas. 
kept losing its power in some very odd way and also had a very weird hollow sound when I was revving it. Hard to describe but it definitely did not sound natural. Now the funny part is this piston was running without oil for almost 7 or 8 rides. That really tells me something about the engine beta uses. It is tough as nails because any other engine within 10 minutes would have seized up, but not the beta. It kept running, and although I noticed it was running very hot, it kept turning off randomly when I came to a stop, and also had performance loss, the engine kept running. My guess is the previous owner ended up doing the rebuild himself, did a sloppy job, masked the problem, and handed it off with some very detailed note to the dealership. Anyhow, the good news is I was able to sell it back full price to the dealer and I ended up getting the 701 Husky. Great for exploring and maybe ideal for what I want to do. Anyhow, I still have my beta in my mind. Ergonomics was great. It felt so planted on the rocks and it was a blast to ride. And although it's a four stroke, it definitely was fun to ride in the revs. It was very comfortable and it honestly fit me like a glove so this is why I'm still considering a beta 350 or maybe another beta down the road. I'm gonna tell you guys this is one hell of a bike. Now I'm not gonna do a full review, I'll probably leave that for another video. But anyhow if you guys are looking for a review go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell button and I'll catch you guys on my next video and possibly that short term lived beta 350 double R review.